Making science fun and interactive while learning is what COSI is all about, and their latest exhibit is no different. Body Worlds in the Brain allows you to get up close to real human specimens to look at the form and function of the body and internal organs. Joining me this morning with more on the exhibit is Ashley Russell, who's the manager of the Health and, and Medicine Initiatives at COSI, and Dr. William Hicks. He is a neurologist from Ohio Health. Thank you both for joining me. Thank Thanks you for, for having us. us. Ashley, what a fascinating exhibit, and I know COSI is proud and excited to have this mm -hmm. exhibit. Uh, what is it all about? How do you explain to people what this Body World and Brain is about? Um, the Body World exhibit gives our guests a chance to look at the body in depth, um, get an in-depth in view of the body and how it works. Um, so it's a special exhibit that will teach about health and wellness and anatomy. And the inside and outside. Yes. I mean, <laughs> when, when you say body, we're not just looking at little pieces and parts. Mm -hmm. These are the Human whole body. <laughs> you get to see the whole body um, and then you get to see sections of the body as well. What makes this special because there have been other type of exhibits mm -hmm. similar to this. This is a bit different. Right. This exhibit was actually started by the um, doctor that invented the um, process of plastination. So it's it's the authentic um, exhibit. Um, and so we're really proud to have this exhibit and um, the detail that it offers is really exciting to us as well. And when you mean authentic, these are real bodies. Yes, and these people are bodies. need to be <laughs> prepared to know that, right? Yeah. Um, the plastinists that you see in the exhibit are donated by people that want to have their body on display within this exhibit. So it's very special. Very wow. Special. And, and Dr. Hicks, you're a neurologist and part of this exhibit does um, focus on the brain. What will we see in the exhibit as it pertains to the brain? Well. After I saw it, I was blown away by just how intricate and detailed it was. It took me back to anatomy lab in med school, only <laughs> in a beautiful way. It's like artwork, uh, so that's not to scare anyone out there. You're going to gain a, a beautiful look at the body and the brain uh, that you'd never normally see before. I think it's interesting that someone like you who has done anatomy and worked on the brain of neurologist, you still find it fascinating. I went with my wife uh, at a preview showing, and I, I just said, I remember that from med school, I remember that from med school. But it, it's with the formaldehyde removed, so that's mm -hmm. a beautiful thing. <laughs> what can you see in the brain, the different types of brain function? You can see that? Mm -hmm. Well, you'd be able to see the different, the, as you see right there, the, the, the brain in its, uh, the, the way it normally looks, and you're able to pinpoint the actual areas, the actual lobes of the brain, the actual uh, neuroanatomical areas that uh, deal with our ability to smell, our ability to have uh, function and separate us from the animals, and our ability to breathe, and our ability to speak and understand speech, move. And you, they also show uh, brains that have been damaged from stroke, from bleeding strokes, or from uh, non-bleeding strokes called a And you can stroke. see the physical part of that brain and, and as a neurologist you would be able to see that but Absolutely. now the public can see yes. actual specific differences in brains that are damaged. Absolutely and, and, and even from my standpoint I, I look at MRIs, I look at CAT scans, I'm able to look at a, a brain from a different point of view so when even when I myself a neurologist see uh, the actual specimens themselves, it's almost like an up-close look that I don't get to see on a daily basis. So wow. It's, it's really fascinating. Ashley, is it too overwhelming though for young children? Is there an age that you would recommend? Uh, we don't recommend an age. We kind of leave it up to the parents to make that judgment on what their child can handle. Um, we do offer a chance for the parent to kind of scope it out first and then make that decision if they're not sure if their child can handle that. But it is science, right? It is, yes. <laughs> it's, it's what we're and all we've about. We've seen children in there and they just love it. They ask questions. So it's, it's an exhibit that allows questions and a lot of interaction between families so. Well part of the exhibit is a lecture series and mm -hmm. this evening is an, a lecture series. Dr. Hicks by one of your counterparts, your colleagues from Ohio Health, what's that lecture series tonight at 7 about? Yes, my colleague Dr. Jeff Eubank at Riverside is also a neurologist and he alongside myself and others of us we treat stroke in the acute setting or in the in the emergency room setting and what he's talking about tonight is about the signs and symptoms of stroke that all of us need to be aware of. Unlike uh, things such as heart attacks or a traumatic experience where there's pain involved, stroke is often painless so the signs and symptoms are very important. This is something... It's very vague isn't it? It, is, it could sometimes be vague but what we like to do is uh, simplify uh, it for the, the public to understand. We use a uh, acronym called FAST. Uh, face is F. If there's any change in your face uh, of any way, a facial droop or a headache or your vision has changed, 
A for arm or leg weakness or numbness, of usually on one side of the body. So this is all going to be covered tonight in the yes, lecture. And this is a free good. lecture. We want us to tell folks that's free. And, and also, this other times, this exhibit runs through January 6th, so you mm -hmm. have plenty of time to see it. But the lecture is tonight, as we told you. You've seen the phone number. It's free, but they do ask that you register. Thank you so much for filling us in. How fascinating. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too, Thank Dr. You. Nice to meet you.